Hello there, and what is up, YouTube? Clunk Bay here, and today I'm having to refilm this video because I filmed it before, and for some reason I'm having troubles importing it, which I'm thinking it's the <clears throat> it has to do with the video quality I shot it in because I shot it on my iPhone on 4K instead of regular HD, and then whenever I tried just saving it like editing on here, and then just finished editing it on my laptop just to save it here and then yeah for some reason it says I didn't have enough storage even though I have everything deleted so I'm gonna try it this way and if not well I, I, I don't know this doesn't go up I don't know what I'm gonna do but anyway guys I hope you guys had a happy new year and as some of you guys know um around the end of December early January is whenever I like to try to go ahead and do the collection video so that way it's kind of like, you know, it's the end of the year, it's after Christmas. Any like last um, minute stuff or whatever, I should have on display well, except for Braun right here. Um, I just picked him up today. I went to go get a haircut and I stopped at Walmart to pick up some stuff. And I decided to go ahead and finally pick him up. But yeah, guys. Okay, there we go. But yeah, I hope you guys had a great New Year's and a great Christmas. Um, and it's like the second day of 2024 and I'm already having issues trying to upload a video, to, a simple video to YouTube. Don't you love life? But anyway, guys, yeah, so we're just gonna go ahead and get right into it. So here's you guys kind of like some wide shots or let's see. Oh, okay. So there's you guys like kind of a little bit of a wide angle shot there. So y'all can kind of see it. And... Spider-Man, Spider-Man. And then we have the shelf here, or at least these shelves. As you can see, there is some new stuff that I added to kind of help fill in gaps and stuff. This has pretty much stayed the same. I haven't really kept up with any of the new Halo stuff for Mega Bloss that's coming out. Except I was wanting to try to get the Falcon Sweep set, but it, apparently that's having issues with people trying to get it scalpers and stuff from what i gather so i'm hoping one day i might be able to get it but i don't know because really that's the only halo that i can really think of that i really want at this point but yeah guys so there's that um but yeah we'll go ahead and start getting closer in we got Clactus and silver surfer hanging out with fort max we got the shattered glass bots the two pack I only bought for Sideswipe because Sideswipe is our mono wheel jack, and I desperately wait for Hasbro to finally give us our mono wheel jack. <sighs> anyway, then we got the Devastator Bros. Then we just have these guys that I couldn't put on to any other shelf. Combine of Megs, the OG Scourge, Cyclonus, everybody used to love them door back in the day before we got the new stuff. Got an exact shuttle. Then we got a gunship filled with the 505st, about ready to go beat up some clankers. Then coming on down, we have kind of like this little, ah, uh, hold on. Okay, guys, sorry about that, but um, I couldn't turn on the flash. But anyway, coming through here, we got these guys, kind of just miscellaneous Autobots that we got lying around. Some new additions include Blur. Which they do have, which he does have, him and Whirl back there have these repro label stickers that have like battle damage Autobot symbols, which I thought were pretty neat. So I got a set to kind of add to a few characters to kind of just give them more, like, kind of just help look, basically kind of just help with their appearance and stuff like that and help make it look cooler. But continuing on, we have season three and season four of G1. New addition here is just RC, I believe, because I went ahead and decided just to go ahead and pick her up to add with the rest of these guys. And just got throwing 30s just showing up there, which she does have the Kingdom RC's arms, which does help a lot better than the arms that she came with originally. And it does, it probably looks pretty good. I just have Sharpie on it from where I was trying to do some kind of other customization, but. Then continuing on, we have season two, and then we got everybody's favorite little blue, little blue boy right here. We have Skids, voiced by my buddy Blake. Everybody's favorite. Nah, just kidding. That's knockout right there. He's everybody's favorite. But I don't know. There probably are people who love Skids. 
But anyway, we got these guys here. And fortunately, I don't have Snarl yet. Um, I thought since last year I got Sludge around Christmas because my Walmart had just started putting Sludge out. I thought maybe I could get Snarl the same way, but I didn't. So, yeah. Um, so, I don't know. I'm going to hopefully try to get Snarl before Swoop comes out and before he, unfortunately, gets too much higher in price. Then, coming over here, we have the Autobots. The Season 1 bots. Um, new additions here is obviously Ratchet. Because I picked, I got him for my birthday this year. I just need to get the new Ironhide. And then, I am obviously going to replace Brawn because I got the figure there. But, I just haven't taken him out of the box just yet. Because I needed to try and get this video done for you guys today. And then, I do want to try to get... Or, I'm kind of hoping at some point they maybe they re-release the Earth Mode Prowl. But, I'm fine with my Siege Prowl. And, I do want to try to get the, um... I believe it's Hunt for the Decepticon Scout class of Wind Charger that they did. And, coming down here, we have our Season 1 and 2 Decepticons. Finally, we got our Decepticons completed this year. So, that's pretty good. And, obviously, you see some yellowing. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna get away from that. Then, coming over here, we have our Season 3 and 4 Decepticons. I believe Season 4, but yeah, we got them. Then, we got some of their little Target Masters just chilling right there. And then, coming over here, we have some more miscellaneous Decepticons just chilling out right there. And we got everybody's favorite Prime characters right there. I mean, this is everybody's favorite. He hasn't upgraded to this form, but obviously, he's going to at some point. Then over here we have our kingdom, not kingdom, our Beast Wars shelf, where I do want to try to get more stands and risers, as you guys have seen, are going to see throughout the video, to kind of help clean these guys up some, maybe. And I will put some links in the description for the stands and stuff that I use to kind of help elevate my displays, so if you guys want some, you can go check them out for yourself. Then coming down here, we have our Bumblebee Studio Series figures with Ironhide. Well, not Ironhide, but it's the drone, this um, Quintesson drone guard dude that um, was part of the net, that Netflix line. And I just gave him the Matrix Workshop Ironhide cannons and just put a Battle Damage Autobot symbol on him. So, he's an Ironhide. So, yeah, we got them chilling here. The only thing that's missing is Thrust for now until um, the new Shockwave and that new Megatron come out, which looks very, very good. Then coming over here, we got Rise of the Beasts, everybody's favorite movie from 2023. Overall, I did enjoy the movie. Like, there are elements to it I really enjoyed. Like, I really loved Mirage in this movie. But it did have its issues. I'm not saying it's perfect, but overall, it's still a good movie. I do enjoy it. Then coming over here, we have our movie Decepticons, mainly studio series, but... We do have a lot of older figures in here, like Hailstorm, Sideways, Lockdown, Bludgeon, and everybody's favorite Soundwave. Then coming over here, we have the Studio Series Autobots from the movies. Mainly, same thing as them, movie, mainly Studio Series with some newer, oh, not newer, some older figures. And then we got the older Generations Warpath chilling in here, that kind of represent Warpath from the game. And then we have our Masterpiece figures here, along with some other universe slash classic Autobots we got. Then coming over here, we have our, what was going to be just Unicron Trilogy shelf. The Armada figures got bigger, or at least the Armada figures collection kind of got bigger. So I kind of just make them their own separate shelf, and I just love these guys here. And then coming over here, we have Prime, which I do need to get a new Bumblebee. Because I want to... I don't like little kid self, what he did to my Bumblebee. I don't like him. I want to go back and um talk to him. But anyway, then coming over here, we do have the animated shelf that I started trying to redo for that Ratchet video for my um college project a couple years ago. I do want to try to go back and at least... I mean, obviously, I need to replace that Bumblebee because he's broken. I do need to replace him. And I do want to try to get at least complete the main Autobot cast. 
Because the stuff that comes with that guy just need to get loaded out of Starscream. But anyway, guys, coming down, we have the combiners, Autobot combiners, and then some random stuff there. Then we have essentially what is the Forsaken Legacy shelf with just extra characters that aren't on regular shelves that are just chilling there. Then coming over here, we have the FOC slash War for Cybertron shelf right there. And then over here, we have everybody's favorite, the Septicon Combiners and a Yellow Sandstorm. Alrighty guys, so starting up here, um, basically as I said earlier, this is kind of just basically still the same. I really haven't done anything major to it or update, added anything to it since last year, I believe. Then coming down here, we have um, our little our Lego Ninjago villains, and then we have a Lego set that I bought for to do with the recent episode that's coming out for Legacy. Then yeah, we got Ninjago there. Um, we got some Skylanders, for those of you that remember. We got Rex and the 501st, kind of just chilling right there with the 322nd up there, or 332nd. I, I don't remember. I, I forgot now. Anyway, then we have their vehicles and stuff there. And then we have our Ninja and some other characters in the back. More Star Wars stuff. DC and Marvel Legos. And then we have Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow, which they're kind of just here to like find a spot for them. Then coming down here, we have my Avengers, at least comic Avengers display, or characters I like that are associated with them or whatever. That's just a stand in until we actually get a more of a com new comic Mar Captain Marvel. But looking at the shelf, there's really just a few like figures I really want to add to the shelf, and I'm pretty much fin and I'm finished with it because I decided. This year, I just try to, or not this year, but for my Marvel shelf, I just really try to just collect on, like, comic characters and such. Because the MCU still has some good stuff, but it's just, eh. I just lost interest in it. I, I don't know. Yeah, I just have. But, yeah. And then, as you guys can see here with these stands and risers I was talking about earlier, they kind of help elevate some characters and make it look a lot better. Then coming over here, we have the X-Men, which this is another shelf I need to get some risers for to add and help. But overall, we got it looking pretty good right there. Then over here, I'm proud of how this shelf turned out. We have our Spider-Verse. Yeah, Aunt May's in the back. She kept, keeps falling over, so I just put her in the back. But yeah, we got... And... Darn it, Andrew. He fell over. But yeah, we got these guys up here. Then coming down, we have basically miscellaneous characters like Guardians and extra Wolverine, Hand Ninjas, stuff like that in the back there. And then we kind of have the um, McFarlane DC figures as well as some of the older DC collectibles and such. Just chilling out there. Then we have our Spidey Villain shelf, another shelf that could use some stands and risers that I need to get. But until then, I kind of just have it like that. I'm not proud of it because I really don't like how everybody's just scrunched up in that one corner. And then coming down here, we have the rest of the Marvel villains. They're looking pretty good. Then coming over, we have Star Wars stuff right there. They're the Black Series. Everybody's looking nice and fancy. I still just need to get Zeb. And I should have my Rebels completed. Because, I mean, yeah, I have the Ahsoka series Ezra filling in. For the Ezra that I don't have that came out. But I figured, you know, I, I'm fine with that. That's fine with me. I just need to get Zeb. Then we have the Power Rangers. And Turtles right there. New additions to this shelf would be... Um, Tommy Oliver Dino Thunder right there. And as well as the In Space Rangers right there. And then we have... I decided to fill out some of these bottom spaces with some of my older um, Power Rangers doors I had from when I was a kid. So here we have these guys right there just chilling. Alright. Then getting down here with the Halo. Um, the only thing that's really missing here are... Really nothing's new. It's just missing George. Which I haven't found George for a decent price or seen him in store. So I'm probably going to have to resort to eBay or Macari or some place to find him. And then over here, we basically have what's our Nickelodeon Zords. 
um, Mega Force Samurai uh, Super Mega Force, which I'm thinking I might maybe try to sell these guys off because they're good, but nah, I just don't like them as much as some of these words over here. But yeah. Alrighty guys, so starting up here, um, basically as I said earlier, this is kind of just basically still the same. I really haven't done anything major to it or update, added anything to it since last year, I believe. Then coming down here, we have um, our little our Lego Ninjago villains, and then we have a Lego set that I bought for to do with the recent episode that's coming out for Legacy. Hey, yeah, we got Ninjago there. Um, we got some Skylanders, for those of you that remember. We got Rex in the 501st. Kind of just chilling right there with the 322nd up there. Or 332nd. I, I don't remember. I, I forgot now. Anyway. Then we have their vehicles and stuff there. Then we have our Lit Ninja. And some other characters in the back. More Star Wars stuff. DC and Marvel Legos. And then we have Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow. Which they're kind of just here to like find a spot for them. Then coming down here, we have my Avengers, at least comic Avengers display, or characters I like that are associated with them or whatever. That's just a stand-in until we actually get a more of a com new comic Cla Mar Captain Marvel. But looking at the shelf, there's really just a few like figures I really want to add to the shelf, and I'm pretty much fin and I'm finished with it because I decided. This year, I just try to, or not this year, but for my Marvel shelf, I just really try to just collect on, like, comic characters and such. Because the MCU still has some good stuff, but it's just, eh. I just lost interest in it. I, I don't know. Yeah, I just have. But, yeah. And then, as you guys can see here with these stands and risers I was talking about earlier, they kind of help elevate some characters and make it look a lot better. Then coming over here, we have the X-Men, which this is another shelf I need to get some risers for to add and help. But overall, we got it looking pretty good right there. Then over here, I'm proud of how this shelf turned out. We have our Spider-Verse. Yeah, Aunt May's in the back. She kept, keeps falling over, so I just put her in the back. But yeah, we got... And... Darn it, Andrew. He fell over. But yeah, we got these guys up here. Then coming down, we have basically miscellaneous characters like Guardians and extra Wolverine, Hand Ninjas, stuff like that in the back there. And then we kind of have the um, McFarlane DC figures as well as some of the older DC collectibles and such. Just chilling out there. Then we have our Spidey Villain shelf, another shelf that could use some stands and risers that I need to get. But until then, I kind of just have it like that. I'm not proud of it because I really don't like how everybody's just scrunched up in that one corner. And then coming out here, we have the rest of the Marvel villains. They're looking pretty good. Then coming over, we have Star Wars stuff right there. They're the Black Series. Everybody's looking nice and fancy. I still just need to get Zeb. And I should have my Rebels completed. Because, I mean, yeah, I have the Ahsoka series Ezra filling in. For the Ezra that I don't have that came out. But I figured, you know, I, I'm fine with that. That's fine with me. I just need to get Zeb. Then we have the Power Rangers. And Turtles right there. New additions to this shelf would be... Um, Tommy Oliver Dino Thunder right there. And as well as the In Space Rangers right there. And then we have... I decided to fill out some of these bottom spaces with some of my older um, Power Rangers doors I had from when I was a kid. So here we have these guys right there just chilling. Alright. Then getting down here with the Halo. Um, the only thing that's really missing here are... Really nothing's new. It's just missing George. Which I haven't found George for a decent price. We're seeing him in store. So I'm probably going to have to resort to eBay or Macari or someplace to find him. And then over here, we basically have what's our Nickelodeon Zords. Um, Mega Force, Samurai, uh, Super Mega Force, which I'm thinking I might maybe try to sell these guys off because they're good, but nah, I just don't like them as much as some of these Zords over here. But yeah. 
Alrighty guys, so coming in here in the what's basically the filming studio, um, there's not really much that's changed from last year aside from the Funko Pop wall, but as you can see here we have some Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, um, Iron Man and Iron Monger just chilling, then nothing much more down at the bottom, then kind of just giving y'all a closer look at some of the pops that I got up here, there you go. Which I have been working on trying to complete pops this or at least get some more pops this year. Because mainly I decided that I'm just going to try to at least fill up the shelf. So I have like six, like seven and a half more spaces really to go. And mainly I've been debating, like, honestly, it might just be Spider-Man related. But then there are a few like Star Wars and DC ones that I have here. But anyway, we'll see. Then coming over here, we have... Just an at at and then we have Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow scaling it. Then we got some random figures just chilling up there. We have a little red hood shrine with the new... Well, technically it's not new, but it's new to me. The DC Essentials red hood that came out a couple years ago. Like, I finally got my hands on it for a decent price, so I'm happy about that. Then we kind of have like a little Venom-ish little thing right there. Then we got Cal and Ahsoka down there with um, Thrawn and some Death Troopers speakers. Some DC collectibles, Arkham stuff, which I might move back into the other DC shelf. My camera bag, emptiness. And then kind of just looking over here, here's some carded figures I have on the card still. And coming over here, we have like a little set for something I've been working on for the most recent episode. And then we have Star Killers stuff there. But yeah, there's your little peek at something that's happening in the next episode. Alrighty guys, so ending off the collection tour, um, we are in my bedroom. I mean there's nothing too crazy personal in here. So I figured yeah, it's okay to show you guys, because I am kind of proud how I got it set up and redone it this year. I added we put in a new floor, painted the walls and everything. So yeah, kind of just giving y'all kind of really just quick glance, like just a quick glance at everything that we got in here. So yeah, then over here we got um these guys men on, like on card. Um, these three they were on the shelf, but I decided I'm just going to mainly just try to invest in getting the figure arts versions of these guys. So I kind of put these guys back in their boxes. I just did the trick of where you just cut it open from the bottom and just pull the tray out so i might uh, sell these guys off at some point or i might just keep them on the shelf or just keep them on the wall and then we got our boy andrew and then we got this guy um it's a good figure from what i've seen but i, I don't know it's kind of like i just i'm not really a fan of the head sculpt but i don't know maybe one day i'll take him out of the box but till then he's just kind of just right there then we have our January calendar right here. We got Venom. And then we got a record player right here. We got that Funko Optimus Prime. Autobots, roll out. You heard the man? Then we got like the a new Dragon Rising Lego like, Ninjago set. And this guy fell up, fell over, and he fell over. Because so far I have enjoyed um that new the new Lego Ninjago season they put on Netflix. I'm only about halfway through it, but so far I, I found that I'm liking it so far. Then coming over here to the shelf, I do need to redo this at some point, but I kind of just have the light cruiser up there and start screaming the side swipe, just chilling. Because originally I had um, these three three quarter inch Star Wars figures up there, but I decided to take them down because I figured it looked better. Then coming down here, we have the Armada shelf, which has grown a little bit this year. Um, I managed to finally pick up a Jetfire. And I'm hoping that since we have the announcement of Tidal Wave coming to the Legacy line, um, and it, he is able to combine with Megatron, I'm hoping we are going to be getting a Jetfire soon. So that way we can combine him with Optimus. But we'll see. Um, hope. I mean, even if it doesn't, that's fine. But I, just, I, but I really want us to get a new Armada Jetfire. Same thing with Blur. Then we got Double Hot Shots. And then we got Armada Megs, which I got for Christmas. And then coming down here, we have... I don't really know what to call the shelf. I want to call it the Import Shelf. Because that's the majority of what's here. Or maybe just higher-end collectibles. But 
Yeah, we got these guys here. And coming down, there's not really anything crazy. We just got Stitch in my um, bucket from across the Spider-Verse. And then we have Electro and Spidey and Spider-Man and the Amazing Spider-Man, excuse me, who unfortunately is broken. And also we have the Spider-Man Noir from Into the Spider-Verse. And coming down here, we kind of have like a Lego Spider-Man and Doc Ock type of little shrine we got here. And then coming down here, we have um, two albums I got for Christmas to go with my record player. MGK and Thomas Rhett, and we just have a little Spider-Man pillow. But overall, guys, um, that's going to be the collection tour. And sorry if I kind of rushed through anything. Um, I found out that my phone, for some reason, is being weird about with how long I make the videos and stuff. So um, I'm going to go ahead and just wrap this up real quick. Um, thank you guys for your support on the channel um, last year. <laughs> sorry to say this year, but last year. All right, I hope you guys stay tuned for this year and what and some stuff that I got planned that I'm going to try to do this year. And I hope y'all had a great holiday season, and I hope you guys have a great New Year's. Anyway, guys, this is Clankerbait, and I'm signing out.